Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make egg gravy. So we have already kept the ingredients ready now. So now I'm going to show you how to make it. I have kept the kadai on the stove and it is nicely hot. I am pouring the oil around 7 tablespoon of oil because I need to make the onions a crispy onions. I am going to show you how to make it. Let it let the oil get nicely hot. Then we will add the you can see here I have chopped one large onions and kept it ready for making fried onions. So now the oil is nicely hot. Now I am adding one large sliced onions. Fry it until the onions become golden brown and it is very crispy so that we need to make the powder of this fried onions for 10 minutes it requires 10 minutes to fry this see now the fried onions is ready we will make the powder of this fried onions it takes 7 to 8 minutes to get crispy brown in color. So first 2 minutes you need to fry on high flame then on a medium flame to get this color. So let it get cool down and I am using the same oil for cooking also as it gives a nice taste of the fried onions. So squeeze this oil from the fried onions. In the same pan with the same oil, I am adding half a teaspoon of shahi jeera, one chakra mugu, half inch of cinnamon, two cloves, one green cardamom into it. Once this spices leaves the aroma, add chop split green chilies, I have split the green chilies like this add this is split green chilies and turn around like this now I am adding chopped tomato after a minute of this I am adding keep it on a low flame Fry these tomatoes until the tomatoes become mushy. I have added one small, small chopped medium sized tomato into this. So let it get mushy. Closing the lid for 2 minutes. After 2 minutes, tomatoes looks like this. Now I am adding salt to it. And again I am cooking it for three minutes tomatoes will become still more mushy so that the gravy gets thicker I'm smashing with the ladle like this so I'm frying again for three minutes closing the lid now the tomatoes are nicely become mushy now I'm adding one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste into it and frying it for one minute until the raw smell of the ginger garlic paste now I am adding the cashew paste for the cashew paste I have taken 9 to 10 cashew nuts half a teaspoon of poppy seeds and three tablespoon of curd and grind it to a fine paste now I am adding this to it and cooking it for two minutes without closing the lid I am cooking this after two minutes I am adding the fried onions 
paste into the gravy. Cleanly wash the mixer as in the mixer the fried onions paste will be there. So I'll add some water into it. Nicely clean the mixer jar. Because the fried onions will be stick to it. So now I'm adding the water. So it requires one and a half cup of water because as the gravy should get boiled nicely until it leaves oil. Now I'm adding one tablespoon of chili, red chili powder, half a teaspoon of coriander powder. Then 1 4 teaspoon of garam masala into it and turmeric powder. Into it, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and giving it a complete mix. You need to cook it for 5 minutes until the oil leaves from the gravy. Then it is ready to add the eggs. After 5 to 7 minutes, the gravy has left the oil in the sides as you can see here. So I am feeling the nice aroma coming from the gravy. Now I am adding chopped coriander cube and I am keeping for garnishing and giving the stir. stir. Then I am adding the boiled eggs. Already have boiled, I have taken here 6 eggs boiled. Adding little salt. Now I am adding it to the gravy one by one. Slowly drop it. As oak shouldn't come out of the white, so slowly you drop it. I added all the eggs, boiled eggs into it. Now I'm taking the gravy and dropping on the eggs, boiled eggs, one by one, like this. As the gravy should get sucked into the boiled eggs, that is when you get the nice taste of the egg gravy. So keep it like this, boil it like this for 4 minutes and the gravy is ready to eat and garnish with coriander leaves. Now I am removing the lid after 4 minutes. Now I am removing the lid after 4 minutes. See, you can see the nice oil is sizzling from the sides of the gravy. Now it is ready to eat and we need to flip it one more side and keep it like this for one minute so that both the sides are cooked well. Next one by one you need to flip this. In the lid, in the lid after two minutes you can see the nice egg gravy is ready to serve. Now I'm adding the remaining chopped coriander into it for garnishing. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe. Hit a like button. Love you all. Thank you.